On Thursday, they meet the three party leaders head to head in the first ever televised leaders debate. Forget the internet. This election, more than any other in the history of British politics, will be won or lost on television. These debates are going to be interesting because I think what will happen, there'll be massive hype. I mean, we're talking about them, you yeah, know, sure. some time ahead. There have been polls already about who do you think will win. British voters are used to their party leaders slugging it out. This Prime Minister would wreck the recovery... By when Parliament's in session, control. they do it every week. It's the same old Conservative Party. The country doesn't have a government, it has a void. Landing blows in the TV debates may be harder, coming as they do with strict rules on time and decorum from the audience. Order. But the man who advised former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher on media strategy says real damage could still be done, albeit self-inflicted. It's a nightmare, um, because the chances are you'll make a mistake. All that people will remember from these debates is if somebody makes a mistake. Um, I, I'm, in all the years I advised uh, Mrs Thatcher and have advised other politicians around the world, I've always said, no, whatever you do, don't do television debates. <laughs> Barack Obama had no such qualms. And why would he? Telegenic, handsome and smooth, he was a presidential pitch made for TV. Some of his expert advisers are now over here, helping Gordon Brown and David Cameron. Labour's even turned to Tony Blair's spin doctor-in-chief. Gordon's strengths, which are considerable, will actually come through over the course of those three debates. And actually that one of Cameron's weakness, weaknesses, which I think is a, a lack of understanding of the detail of policy and the need for that detailed policy at this stage, I think that could come through as well. So, look, none of us know how they're going to go, but I think they're a very exciting part of this campaign and I think Gordon can do well. I mean, Nick Clegg is the man who has the most to gain because he's not one-third of the, of the political view in this country, but he will get one-third of the time. The three party leaders will be doing their utmost to win the television debates and, of course, ultimately be crowned Prime Minister. This election, though, there's another prize up for grabs. Whoever moves into number 10 Downing Street will join the ranks of previous Prime Ministers and be immortalised in wax here at Madame Two Swords. That's something Gordon Brown missed out on because he was never actually elected Prime Minister. And if that's not incentive enough for the party leaders, there's always the danger of a meltdown live on national TV. Elliot Gottkin, Bloomberg News, London.